G'day and welcome to another Visions of Chaos tutorial. This tutorial is going to be all about style transfer. Style transfer is when you take two images and you apply the style from one image to the other image. Visions of Chaos uses the style transfer script from Cameron Smith here. This shows how applying the Starry Night image style to this line gives you this resulting picture. Here's some other examples. If you want some more details on how the style transfer works, you can look at these three papers here. If you want to follow this tutorial, you need to have TensorFlow support set up in Visions of Chaos. I'll link to my TensorFlow tutorial in the description if needed. The first time you select Style Transfer, you will notice that it cannot find the required neural network model. Visions of Chaos will automatically download the required model for you, so just click OK. And you'll see the stats down here. Hopefully your internet's faster than mine. So once it's finished downloading, you will get this message. The model only has to be downloaded once the first time you start Style Transfer. From now on it's there and so it doesn't have to do this process. Now let's have a look at these options. The first option is the Style Transfer method. This allows you to choose if you want to apply Style Transfer to a single image or if you want to create a movie. I will cover movies in the next section of this tutorial, so let's stick with a single image for now. The next option, Source Image, allows you to select which image the Style Transfer will be applied to. You can use the currently displayed Visions of Chaos image, an external image file, random RGB noise, random grayscale noise, or either the Style 1 or Style 2 images. The output image name is where the Style Transferred image will be saved to. As you then see these two style settings here. So for a first example, I will apply some styles to a Mandelbrot fractal. So let's just change into that mode. And let's load up one of the samples. Uh, maybe looking. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Okay, so let's use the classic Van Gogh Starry Night. And so once you select the style you wish to apply, you can just click Apply Style. And it gets everything ready and does the style transfer. Okay, and so that has now applied that Starry Night pattern, those um, painterly swirls, to that fractal image. Okay, let's regenerate that fractal, and let's try another style now. What about the Scream? Which has sort of similar painterly strokes, but let's have a look at how that applies. Okay, that one didn't really look that good. Let's try another one. What about this Kandinsky? It gives an interesting result.
What about this one? Okay, so that gives you an idea of using a single image. The iteration setting determines how much the style is applied to the image. The default of 500 is okay for most pictures. Depending on if you find the image is not styled enough or too styled, you can tweak this value. As an example, we use this Scully diagonal light this one here. So using 500 iterations for this particular style image really has overpowered the source image totally. So let's try dropping the iterations down to 50. So 50 is starting to show the structure but it's still a bit overpowered. So let's drop that right back to 10. Okay, so setting it to only 10 iterations has created this almost embossed effect. So we want maybe a little bit more. So somewhere between 10 and 50. Let's try um, 25. And that may be a happy medium between the two. So that shows you how you can tweak the iterations value depending on how much the style is overpowering or underpowering the image you want to transfer the style to. The use colors from source image does what it says. If checked, then the colors of the processed image will come from the source image rather than the colors coming from the style images. So if we now change to the um, Giga style, We'll put this back up to 500 and click apply style. Okay, so you can now see that the final image is using the colors of the source image, but the style from the style image, which is this Giga Biomechanoid Landscape. The second style two setting allows you to apply the styles from two images to your source image. The only difference here in the settings is the style to blending weight. This allows you to tweak how much a second style affects the source image. The default of 50 is an even weight between styles. If you wanted to have style 1 have a large effect and style 2 have a small effect, you may set this to only 10%. So then 90% of the style transfer comes from the first style. So let's just do a sample here. about MC Escher and some fire but we'll put a 25% weight on the fire so in this case most of the style transfer will come from the MC Escher with a little bit of fire in there let's have a look at that So there we can see the majority of the style was Escher with these little splashings of fire mixed in. You can also use any source photo you like to apply styles to. Here are some examples I was experimenting with when I first implemented this mode within Visions of Chaos. Using this photo of Miss Marple here and applying various styles to it. This one works really nicely, the Great Wave. There's a Scream and Starry Night. So let's have a look at how this works now. So I want to resize the Visions of Chaos window to match the photo we are going to be applying the style transfer to. This is so that it's not stretched or distorted in any way. If you watch the lower right hand corner of the status bar, you can see that as I click and drag, it updates the image size. And so this allows you to easily 
set the size to what you need. Another option is you can always just go image, set image size, manual image size, and tell it we want in this case 464 by 500. Okay, let's go back to only one style. So we'll set style 2 to none, clears out the style. Okay, so once the Visions of Chaos window matches the photo size, we now change the source image to an other external image file. And we want to pick that file, which is this photo here. Let's select this style and go. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try this other Westcape. That's a good example of iterations being set too high because the whole photo is almost washed out except for the eyes and the ears. You could probably tell that that's a cat if you showed it to someone, but it's really pushing the limit. So let's try and drop that back down to 100 iterations and go again. So that's a nicer result there. Let's just try one more example. What about this one of my acrylic pore paintings? We'll leave it at 100 and see how that goes. Okay, that gave this interesting ripple effect. I think that's enough for the usage to process an image. You can experiment with any photo you have or any picture within Visions of Chaos. And you also aren't limited to these included example style images. You can just click the browse button here and select any other image you want to use as a source style image. So you can experiment and see what happens. Okay, next up is going to be movies. Visions of Chaos also allows you to create style transfer zoom movies. To create a movie, you select zoom movie from this first style transfer method. We'll change this back to current image. The zoom speed affects how quickly it zooms in. And the value here is the amount in pixels that the image is stretched each frame. And so a zoom speed of 10 means that each frame is going to be expanded by five pixels on every side. And so if you want a faster zoom, you could change it to 20. If you want a really slow zoom, you can change it down to two. And the zoom algorithm determines how the image is resized. Mitchell is fine because it gives a nice, smooth, resized image. Rotate allows you to rotate each frame. So let's have a look at how you can create a zoom movie with two different fractal images styling a third fractal. Okay, so I'm going to load this one here as a starting image. And for the style images, I'm going to use two other fractals. And we'll change that blending weight back to 50%. And so they both apply the same weighting to the source image. Okay, so we've got it set to zoom using the current image. It's going to apply both of these styles each frame. We'll set the iterations back to 500. And so they both apply their style pretty full on. And that should do it. So let's begin. Okay, so once it gets going, you will see the stats here for the time taken in the last frame, the total time. This here, the 1F0E, counts the number of frames generated and the number of errors. Because the style transfer can sometimes fail, this will show you how many frames 
failed during the process. And so if you go away for a while and you come back and you notice a few errors, Visions of Cast will catch the errors and continue rendering. I'm just going to stop this now, but that gives you an idea of how to set up some images. So as you see, it zooms in and continuously applies these each frame. Okay, so once again, let's try this time starting from a, let's try random noise this time and we'll use the Miss Marple style again. I will once again set the image size to match. So, which it's still set from the previous input. Okay, and off it goes. And so in this case, this starts from a screen of random static and it repeatedly applies this Miss Marple as the style image. So once that first frame has finished, you'll notice that the source image now automatically changes to the Visions of Chaos current image. So that this image now becomes the source image that the Miss Marple is style is once again applied to. And so the movie follows the same process now. Applies the style, stretches the image slightly, applies the style, stretches the image. And so that goes on for as long as you allow it to run. Uh, for this purpose, I'm going to stop this one because I've got a few I pre-rendered to show you. Okay, so here is the results of using the Miss Marple style transfer. And I actually started on the same image here. And so it initially begins style transferring itself. But since it stretches out, it does distort and create these unique visuals. And so after running this overnight, this was the result. You can see you get all different features from the source. The eyes come through, a lot of whiskers and fur, and some of the background sharp lines. So that's something that you can try as well. If you have a particular um, source style photo you'd like to try and just keep on feeding it back into itself. That's how that works. This is a larger sized movie of the Great Wave. Larger size in dimension, not in length. You can see how it finds styles within itself as it zooms in further. That was taking quite a while, so I didn't have the patience to let it run further. And here is Starry Night being applied to itself. So those are some quick examples. If you have more patience and you have a decent graphics card, you could try doing ones at um, full HD size or, or maybe even 4K, but the style transfer really starts to slow down the larger you go. So you've really got to have patience. For these few sample movies I just played now, that was probably a couple days worth of 24 hours churning away on this older PC with an NVIDIA GeForce 1080. Okay, so that covers all the style transfer functionality within Visions of Chaos in more detail. I hope that's been helpful and has shown you how simple it can be to use style transfer. If you have any other questions about style transfer, leave a comment. If you want to see a tutorial on any other specific Visions of Chaos mode or feature, let me know. Thanks for watching.